Hi, I'm Ricky from American Golf. Uh, the course is closed today. So I'm just going to spend some time at the driving range hitting 50 balls. So as part of our winter instruction, I just wanted to talk about pre-shot routine and the importance of it. I've hit most of my balls, I've got three left. The practice went great today and it was effective. I really came here with a, a clear mind of what I was trying to achieve during my practice, which is something I suggest you do. Too often we just come to the range, 50 balls like a Tommy gun, we're back in the car and home on the couch. Spend a little bit more time and really try and make every ball count. So with my last three here, I've got the driver out the bag and I really want to make it uh, feel as if I'm on the golf course. I want to go through my pre-shot routine and really try and make these three balls uh, as effective as I possibly can. Pre-shot routines are very individual and everybody has their own, but I would suggest that you work on it. Don't let it be something that's just, uh, you know, just what happens, but try and make it a little bit more uh, constructed um, so that you know what you're doing when you come to hit each shot. These guys that play on the tours for a living, uh, you know, their, their, their practice or their pre-shot routine is very, very um, structured uh, to help them to be effective so that it's repetitive and they get the, the, you know, the same shot every single time. So with my pre-shot routine, my ball's already teed up here. I like to get behind the shot and pick my target. So there's a large tree at the end of the range. I'm just going to use that as a guide. Pop the club over the ball. Try and find an intermediate target just in front of the ball that falls under that line. And as I walk towards the ball, I keep my eye on that and I just line up the club face. It's the only thing that points to the target, so it's important to pay a lot of attention to that. So once I've got that down, I now build my stance around it at 90 degrees to the club face so that I know that my body's pointing parallel to the target line. A few waggles of the club, quick look at my target, maybe a deep breath, and then away we go. So ideal. And with the next two balls, you want to repeat that same process so that it becomes very structured, second nature. And it, you know, it really, you can predict what the ball's going to do before you've even hit it. So this winter time, I would encourage you to spend a little bit of time at the range when the course is closed or, or it's you know, poor weather, but really make your practice count, make it really structured and, uh, and worthwhile. And when, it, when the new season starts, you'll be ready to go. So best of luck with that.